<laughs> I love doing intros. Hi. Hello. Uh, welcome to The Other Show. I'm Chris. I'm Sarah. And we're the creators of The Other Two. And we're here talking about episode five with Ken and Helena and Drew. Well, and this episode was directed by... Oh, Mike Carnell. Wow, husband. her husband. Yes. Yes. Wow, that's cute. Yes. At the, the time, he was your fiance. That's true. Yeah, we shot this episode days before your shot wedding. Shot this episode, left on the next day to go down to where we got married, got married that following Sunday. Consummated that following the Saturday, marriage. Consummated. <laughs> and then we went on a, a scout on Thursday the next week. It's so pretty out here. Makes me want to go to a football game. Makes you want to sit and watch a full football game? No, no, I, I, I guess it just makes me want to watch Friday Night Lights. I, I feel like a lot of the show is you trying to measure yourself against your little brother or other people or mm -hmm. Am I doing well enough, or am I doing well enough fast enough? And Isn't felt that like, the question we all ask ourselves all the time? Yeah, and so I felt like hopefully going back to the high school helped bring that to a boil, sort of. I guess especially for your character, for Carrie, and even for Brooke, since she didn't get to go to high school, really. She didn't have a typical upbringing. Right, I went to so, dance school and did drugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but in the writer's room, we would say, like, okay, and then this scene will be, like, on the football field at night. And the writer's room would be like, for why? What happens there? And we're like, we don't know, but there's a big, wide shot of a football <laughs> field. I mean, we did Fiddler on the Roof, and I think if I saw it now, I would, I would still think it was good. Did you play Tevya? Yeah. So you were a gay child playing a 40-year-old Russian peasant? Yes, but, but I think I pulled it off. In the writer's room, we were talking a lot about like roles that you at the time were like, this is crazy that I was cast as this, but I was actually very good, because no, you weren't. Um, I still think I was pretty good in everything, so that <laughs> well, never happened Well, you actually done Broadway, so you me. probably were good. I, uh, I played, uh, in ninth grade, I played Daddy Warbucks, and I... I <laughs> <laughs> in ninth grade. In ninth grade. I didn't want to shave my head, and so I was like, I'll wear a bald cap. We glued it on, so I didn't, like, you could feel the yeah, you pressure. You could feel it. You didn't want to rip it, so I would, I did the whole play <laughs> like I had, like, a neck brace on. In the moment that year, were you like, I'm getting away with this. This bald cap works. Or did you know this is pretty I rough? was. Terrific. Yeah, you were doing it. You were doing it. Yeah. At least I thought I was. I don't want to like stop our conversation, but we do have a superstar in our midst because you won a very important award you, in yeah. high school. So just let's what was the throw award? focus to her. Well, it, in high school in 1999, <laughs> I won Best Actress in New Jersey. Wow. What? At a theater yeah. festival. Wow. The best actor in New Jersey was also in our play, and so was the best supporting actress because our drama teachers ran the festival. <laughs> okay, well, this was so not told So I do that. think it was real. I do think it was real. Edit out my my setup. <laughs> this is this is not what was told to me. Cool hair. You sing? No, I play soccer. Perfect. Okay, athletes make the best singers. Meet me in the library in 20 minutes and uh, bring your ball. I was telling you this story, which is it was a, a very pivotal moment in my deciding to dive deeper into being an actor. And I was I played sports and I would and I would be in, and I was in plays in school and I would do both. And the varsity coach uh, cornered me in the locker room. And he was like, Marino. I was like, yeah. And he goes, you gonna uh, play basketball this year or do that fag acting? <gasps> and I was like, uh, I'm gonna do the acting. And then that was it. And I yeah. quit. Whoa. I didn't play basketball that next year. And I just was like, and, and I still remember that. And that was you know, many, many years ago. But I yeah. remember that moment and the decision of like being like, it, it was, we were talking about yeah, like, it's, it's like a thing that, that drove, like, yeah. you, you have these moments of like people who inspire you yeah. or people who say things that like infuriate you yeah. and motivate you to, to But that's cool that that made it. you be like, that, that didn't make you be acting. like, oh, I don't want to seem like a fag, I'll do <laughs> basketball. <laughs> no, no, you were like, f him, I'm gonna. <laughs> exactly. And I guess it's like, probably because sort of, you weren't gay. Like I was gay, so I'd have been like, no, I'm playing basketball. I love basketball. What do you want me to do, lay up on <laughs> so this is where kids go after dances? I think just the losers. Where do the cool kids go? I don't know. I was I was a diner kid. <laughs> do you guys have fun high school dance stories? I only went to dances with gay men. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that, that sounds about right. So, <laughs> yep, I went to theater school, so did you. Went to dances with gay men, and um, I'm thriving. Right around the time that we were going to prom, I had a high school boyfriend, and we were very serious about each other. And we both were like in musicals and plays and whatever together. And we each wrote a song for each other. And then we snuck into a church and played them for each other and sobbed. 
That is, that is adorable. Is he gay now? Amazing. No. That is, by the way, it sounds like it's from Dawson's Creek. I, I didn't kiss a boy throughout all of high school because I was uh, in the closet, obviously. And then my first kiss with a boy, I came out to one of my friends from high school in my freshman year of college. I AOL instant messaged him and I was like, I'm gay. And then he was like, me too. <gasps> and so then the next time I was in my hometown, we met up. We were like, well, I don't think we're gonna be together, but should we kiss each other since we've never kissed? So I made us drive to a half-built home, and it was half-built. I drove us there, and then I kind of like location scouted. I was like, I think this room's big enough, and then I can sit down onto a step, and we made out there, and it was great. You produced your first kiss. Yeah, I did. I guess as an outro, I'll just say, hi, Eric, that was a great night, and watch our next episode. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I.